Guys, in today's video, I'm bringing you a Samira gameplay. I don't play Samira quite often, but this was a perfect draft for her. So I had to bring her out and we went absolutely crazy. So for the items on Samira, I went Red Boots, Bloodthirster, Collector, Immortal Shield Bow because I felt like I needed a little bit more healing and, and, and a barrier and just make myself a lot more harder to kill into Infinity Edge and Mortal Reminder. For the runes, you're going to want to run Conqueror, Brutal, Giant Slayer, more healing with Bloodline, and Bone Plating. And for spells, you're going to want to rock Exhaust and Flash. So with that, let's just get right on into the gameplay. All right, we're now in the gameplay, guys. And yeah, this was a lot of fun playing Samira. I saw that they had a very low CC composition. As you see, there was a there was a Thresh, Tristana, and believe it or not, I've actually played Tristana against Samira, and Samira has really good outplay potential on Tristana, even though that playing Tristana into Samira is quite well. It's kind of a, you know, whichever player is better type thing. And so, yeah. And I also got a Yumi, which was really nice. And they're pretty squishy comp. Fiora, Yone, Kane. As you can tell, very squishy. Not much CC there. And if there is CC, it's very easily blocked with uh, Samira W. And so, boom. You know, pro. I, I can look in for autos on Thrash. Yumi did get CC'd. I'm just bowling at bowling this Tristana and uh, the Tristana had to back out. This is very, very good lane so far. Very, very good lane. Keeping the wave kind of here, but also trying to clear it at the same time because I don't want to fall behind in XP. And I still want to look for a kill on them. Thresh misses the flay. Trying to get level three because I want my 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 W up. To block the Tristana bomb or even the the thresh pull and so I think right here I was gonna freeze this way right and and then kind of choke them out but what I realized is oh they're just gonna reset so I need to just shove this wave and then right here I was keeping it in the middle but I was like oh wait thresh is resetting I shouldn't be wasting time so right here I just shoved the wave I'm using my melee form when I'm shoving the wave in or you should use it but now I'm going for the reset because now I have enough gold to buy boots. And like I said, usually when you reset, you want to buy, you want to have enough gold for your boots. If you're resetting before having enough gold for boots, then you probably did something really bad in lane or, or something must have happened for that. But usually you want enough gold to buy boots. Now walking back into the lane, I'm looking to go aggressive on Thresh because I know Tristana isn't here yet. And this was great damage. Boom. Tristana very smart with the bomb, not placing it um, too fast on me. But I did very good damage on the Thresh. Our teammates are pinging that, that people are coming here. Which they're right. Look at this Tristana. Goes in, hit him with the exhaust. I see Kane, so I go onto the Tristana. Boom, go onto the Thresh. Kane decides to go on me. I run to the towards the turret, have the help of the turret to kill Kane. Now right here I decided, okay, I'm gonna hop on to Yone here. Yone is gonna try to get his knockup. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay outside of Yone's range of the knockup. And I get hit by the knockup. And what I realize is right there, Yumi was unable to go back into me. Well, I feel like we should have been able to win it, but we played it really bad. I would say that. I knew that Yone was going to go in with the knockup, and I just did not space the knockup correctly. I was too close, and I feel like that's a mistake I make a lot when I'm going up against Yone. I feel like I'm, I'm far enough away from Yone, but he always hits me still. So that was a big misplay by me, but also that was a huge outplay that I had on that team. Huge outplay. We were able to pick up three kills, and we're really, really strong now. So right here, I'm trying to shove the wave quicker so I could... I want to put some, put, play some aggression, block the thresh pull. Like I said, it's actually very easy. Yumi with the big ultimate. And then I was going to follow up, but I'm spamming my dash. So I accidentally dashed into the minions instead of them. Applying some damage on Tristana. I have red boots, so I'm just sustaining, especially with Yumi. I see right here that my Diana 
is in an interesting predicament. And yeah, I mean, I'm just putting in that work. Now they're looking to reset because, I mean, we're just out sustaining them. That's the beautiful thing with uh, when you're playing Yumi. And you, I mean, that's just the beautiful thing when you have a lot of sustain in the lane because you could take trades. They could be even, you could go even in the trades and you still come out on top because you out sustain them when during more time goes on. So got the reset, shopped. Not a crazy shop because I don't have Bloodthirster even though I have three kills, which is crazy. That just shows, I mean, I would have had Bloodthirster if I didn't buy boots, but you always want to buy boots. Right here, I'm looking to poke Tristana out before the dragon's up because that would be huge. So right here, I'm just running towards the Tristana. Tristana gets rooted, but Tristana does die and that's massive because now we can do the Infernal Dragon. And you know what? Wild Rift is a game of who makes the least amount of mistakes. Whichever team makes the least amount of mistakes usually wins the game. And so there's mistakes that are forgivable. Like, what's a mistake that's forgivable? Like, there's certain mistakes that are forgivable. Like, okay, let's say you die in lane okay even though it can be very bad you you could even lose a game from losing dying in lane but let's say you die in lane okay once okay it's forgivable dying before an objective spawning that is not forgivable because you don't even give your teammates a chance to fight for the objective so that's an unforgivable mistake so there's going to be important moments throughout a rank game which will be when first objective spawn when baron spawns going for turrets rift herald like these are going to be important points in the game you do not want to make mistakes during those those uh those points of the game so Honestly, a big tip I recommend you guys is, especially if you're an ADC player, but this goes for everyone, is right when objectives spawn, make sure you're in a good position for that fight, okay? You could still lose the game by, by doing this, but at least it gives you a better chance of winning. Right here, I'm in a bad spot, using my ultimate to deal as much damage as I can onto the Yone, flash forward, I'm, I'm looking for this cane, but he's too far away. And I'm quite low. Honestly, looking at the back, I'm surprised I actually didn't even die. I look I look onto this cane, taking some of his creeps out. He ends up um, smiting that, that chicken. But I want to look for this Fiora. I'm hungry for this Fiora. The Fiora decides to fight me. And I feel like that was the mistake of the Fiora. Use my W too early. Go in. Use my ult. Easy double. Easy, easy double. And now we can apply pressure for this top turret. We see Thresh and Yone. I'm like, I don't even care. Because as long as I get my stacks, I can go crazy. But uh, I ended up getting melted. Melted. So this was a big throw right here. Massive throw. Massive throw. But I'm not really quite too worried. Because I... I'm not just quite too worried. But that was an extremely, extremely bad throw. Bad, bad throw. You don't want to. You never want to give the enemy team um, extra kills. But that ended up happening because I thought we could win that fight. I probably could have left after taking the turret, but I took in a more aggressive stance. But to be honest, it was basically a two v three. So come catch mid. I have enough gold for collector, but I really don't feel like resetting. And I realize that my teammates are in a bad spot, so I'm coming top to kind of. Come in with some assistance. I'm keeping my distance off Fiora. Finally, I have enough for my ultimate. Look at me just completely melting over the wall. Once I got my ultimate. And that was beautiful. That was completely beautiful. Now I come back to mid lane. Catch mid. Maybe walk into their jungle. Play some vision. Yep. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Go for the scuttle. And then I'm going to reset. Or do I take the wave? I should just be resetting. Yep, there we go. Don't want to delay your second item. Because when you're playing in ADC, once you get two items, you power spike. Very, very, oh, by a lot. Two items, massive power spike. Right here, I'm thinking about what I want to build next. Uh, 
because my build is a little bit messed up in the game. But I figured out I wanted to be tankier, so um, going for Immortal Shield Bow would do me really well. Pop the Vision Cone, start walking aggressively, maybe looking for honestly anything. I really like popping out in bushes when I'm playing Samira. Kane's right here, just pressuring him, being annoying, completely chunked him out. He's rooted. Yumi with the ward over the wall so I could follow up. Because I wasn't going to burn my flash for that kill. Having flash as an ADC for in a fight is like one of the most important things you could ever do. Right here I'm getting completely blown up. Completely blown up. I mean as Samira, even though you're a melee champion, you are not tanky. So you're essentially still an ADC. So I was just too close in, taking too much damage. He's finally able to pick up the dragon. That's two dragons. Which is great. And by the way, that came, for example, right there, made a very unforgivable mistake, which was dying before the dragon. Didn't even give their... So, so far, this enemy team hasn't even had the chance to fight for dragon. That's what I'm talking about. It's so important not to make any stupid mistakes at very important moments in the game, because those mistakes are unforgivable. Now, right here, I'm thinking this is an easy 2v2, but it's not even freaking close. It's not even freaking close, so... Another big throw by me. Another big throw by me. But man, I really didn't understand that. I was like, that should be so easy. Should be an easy 2v2, but it, it, it really was not. It really, really was not. Luckily, our teammates were able to pick up a kill top, which was quite nice. But I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Yone just does so much damage, man. And Kane. And Kane, even though this Kane's pretty bad. I'm running down bot. I mean, I'm pretty focused on, on finishing the Immortal Shield Bow. Um, because I know once I can get that item, I'm going to be pretty unkillable. I could make really dumb mistakes and just have so much healing and another and so much shielding. So I'm just trying to farm as much as, I'm, as I can. And plus with Samira, Samira is so good at clearing jungle. Um, especially these Krugs. And just any, you know, Krugs, Wolves, um, Raptors, so fast. Boom, and as you see, enough gold for Immortal Shield Bow. I clear the mid wave, and then I think I go for this reset. Because Immortal Shield Bow is such a nice power spike for me. Boom, get the reset, pick up the Immortal Shield Bow, now looking into the stasis. And then this is where I think a very important play occurs right here the yasso gets caught the yasso gets caught right here and you're gonna see me make a really funny mistake i'm spanning my dash but it took me towards the minion instead i was able to get the kill on thresh which gives me the reset to continuously go in i'm using my ult because i'm thinking of kane get the cane see just on a resetting flash dash use my dash again Big ultimate, I'm just completely unkillable. And then I chase this Yone down. Trying to use the Yumi movement speed to get closer to Yone. And yeah, Yone, like bro, this has happened to me twice with Pentas. I'm just unable to get them because the, the one last player just is being annoying and difficult to deal with. So I think my first Penta this season was actually with Jinx and they were all grouped up and, 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 and the reason why Jinx is so good at getting Pentas is because when she gets kills, she gets movement speed. I think right here I decide to take a fight too. Perfect u uh, usage of my W right there. Go in with the ultimate. Unable to get the reset onto Thresh, which actually makes this a little bit more difficult. Get the reset right there. Use my dash. Use my dash again into my ultimate and boom got the kill now honestly if i was more confident player with samira i would be able to use my dashes a little bit quicker but boom we're able to end the game 16 and 3 so anyways guys make sure to give samira a try on this on this patch because i think she's really op with the new bloodthirster as well so much healing so much damage so much crit and plus if you have yumi against a no cc comp you're gonna get a bunch of quadras so yeah Make sure to subscribe. Peace.